Hello again. Uh, my voice is still a little iffy, so I have my Cthulhu brand water with me. Hopefully that'll help. Uh, but today I wanted to talk about maintaining a schedule, or at least how I maintain a schedule, which I know is kind of ironic if any of you have known my previous work because um, I was the first artist on Earthworld, and if you remember book one, the schedule wasn't quite consistent at all. Uh, we started out, I think we were doing two or three updates a week or something like that. And then as the run continued, my schedule slipped like a motherfucker. Uh, also, if you go back to when Angry Zen Master was a comic and not a stupid blog, uh, that had a lot of scheduling problems and the very first bullshit that I used to do is terrible. So I guess it's kind of funny to hear me talk about maintaining a schedule, but uh, with Yellow Peril, I've actually maintained a consistent schedule. I haven't missed an update uh, since the, the comic began, except for that one week when the power went out in the apartment complex and I couldn't get to a scanner. Comics were done, ready to be scanned, but I just couldn't get them... I d See, I don't even have like a, a proper digital camera that I could have taken a photo of and, and put it up as a temp. So, um, but other than that, I've maintained a pretty decent schedule. So these are tips and advice on how to maintain um, a consistent schedule if you're at the point where you think you might be serious about your comic uh, and you want to take it to more uh, a more professional level. Well, I mean, I guess professional is kind of a, a weird term because, you know, um, you won't necessarily make any money off of it if you have a consistent schedule, but you are placing yourself... Uh, you're giving yourself better opportunities if your your schedule is consistent. Um, so, obviously, the most easy way to maintain a consistent update schedule is to have all your comics done ahead of time. So, uh, when I launched Yellow Peril, I had a good month of comics in the queue before I even uploaded anything. Um, so that was that was really good. Um, now, the danger with having such a a long backlog or a, a buffer, as they say, uh, is that you can tend to take it for granted. Um, now, uh, <laughs> with with a, a month ahead of time, ahead of schedule, I, you know, for the first couple weeks I was, I was drawing still like, you know, I had to keep the buffer up, I had to keep the buffer up. Um, but it slipped uh, eventually till, till the fact that like, to the point where I have no buffer now, like this is uh, tomorrow's comic, or by the time this goes up, this is today's comic, um, and I'm penciling, and I'm going to ink it in a couple after this. Um, but, you know, when, when the buffer was going, you have to treat your buffer, if you want to maintain your buffer, you have to, you have to treat it like you're screwing up if you're, if, if you, if you miss a day. So let's say you have, uh, five comics in the hole, and update come, update day comes around, and now you only have four comics in the hole. Well, you have to make up that fifth comic. So you have to treat your buffer like it's your update day. So, um, or not, I mean, but a, a buffer gets you in the habit of getting comics up on time or ahead of schedule. Um, for me, I, I filled the extra space with other projects. Uh, so it's probably not the best way to use a buffer. Um, so if you don't have a buffer, um, there are a couple things you need to know about the way you draw comics um, to to set a proper schedule. Uh, first thing, you have to know how long it takes you to write a comic. Um, now, for, for a gag-a-day strip, um, sometimes those gags come really quickly, and sometimes those gags might take a couple hours to, to, to crank through. Um, figure out what, what an average time for writing is for you, and then um, once you have that down, figure out how long it takes you to draw a comic. And there might be several steps for you. There might be a penciling or a thumbnail step and then a penciling step and then a lettering and then inking. Or you could just do layouts and then you do it all on the computer. Or, But whatever it is, whatever your process is, figure out on average, and, and this will change depending on how, um, how you do your comics and, and how often you do your comics and how good you get with practice. But figure out how long it takes you to comic. So take those into account. You got your writing period and then you got your actual comicing period. Put those together and then add in 
all the other shit that you do during the day. Like if you have a day job, uh, eating, going out with friends, uh, hanging out with your wife or playing with your kids, figure all that stuff out and then sort of see your week, your work week and see where your comic can fit in. And if you're fast enough that you can, you know, sneak in your comics um, in between your day job or in between these hours and it looks like on average you could get in three comics a week then you know aim for that as your as your update schedule if it turns out like realistically you could only do maybe twice a week or once a week that's fine too just set your schedule um, let your readers know what your schedule is and do your best to maintain it Now, one of the things that you may find, um, you're going to have to make some sacrifices, like whether it's hanging out time uh, with your friends or going out to seeing movies or, or stuff like that, um, and sleep, <laughs> at least for me. Uh, I find that um, I, I need to sleep less. Well, I don't need to sleep less, but I find that I sleep less uh, in order to get the comic done on time. And that's fine with me. I mean, I'm really, I'm, I'm more than willing to give up sleep because I love drawing the comic so much. Uh, I have a lot of fun doing it, and uh, I enjoy the process and the, the, the drawing and the inking and all that kind of stuff. Um, so if I have to stay up a couple more hours to do that, that's fine with me. Uh, figure out what you're willing to sacrifice, and uh, you know, you might, you might not want to hang out with your friends as often, or you might not want to go out to eat as often, or you know, if you do. Maybe you cut down on video game playing or something like that. Um, it's been many years since I've actually sat down and had real video game time because video games take away from comicking. So um, figure it out. Figure out what it is that you know you can replace in your daily schedule. Um, well, now if you're going to school, don't don't put schoolwork in. in you know, don't take away your schoolwork. But um, there, there are probably some, some things in your day that you can get rid of that you can replace with comicking time. Um, so figure out what that is and then set your schedule and then do your damnedest to meet that schedule. My schedule is three times a week. I do my best to, to make sure I hit that consistently. Now that might mean I update at midnight or 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. But three times a week... If you go to yellow, uh, if you go to ypcomic.com, you're getting comics, and that's a promise that I made to myself, um, not just to my readers, but it's a promise that I made to myself, um, because uh, you know this is this is what I want to do, and I kind of feel like maintaining a proper schedule is part of being a real comicer. Um, now there are times when you won't hit your updates, like. You know, maybe you're getting married, or maybe there's uh, a hurricane or something. Um, life will always get in the way. And uh, you, you just have to be honest with yourself and with your readers and let them know. And don't, you know, don't whine to them like, oh my god, things are so shitty and blah, blah, blah. You know, just let them know, hey, the comic is not going to update. Life will get in the way. You know, be as specific as you want or don't be don't be specific or you know however you feel comfortable like you know maybe there's a death in the family or something really tragic happened or like you had a really shitty breakup um, maybe these are details you don't necessarily want to put out there on the net but just inform your readers ahead of time when your schedule is gonna slip and by and large they'll they'll understand they all got RSS readers you know it's not like it's the end of the world if you miss an update um, but just be honest with your readers. If it, if it's not going to happen, let them know. You don't have to tell them all the details, but you know you could just say you know life is getting in the way, times are tough. Be general, or you could say stuff like I'm getting married, or my best friend is having a marriage, or something awesome is happening, or something really shitty is happening, and I just can't update. And then you know put it out there, and most of the time your readers will be for forgiving. Um, try to avoid sounding like a whiny artist. Because nobody likes that, uh, and uh, when you go back and read what you wrote, you'll you'll feel kind of embarrassed that you whined like a little bitch. Um, but if shit happens, shit happens. Um, 
so I guess those are uh, my thoughts on, on maintaining a proper update schedule. Um, oh, uh, the other thing that helps me is writing ahead. Uh, that's the one thing that I make sure that I'm ahead of. Like, I'm two or three weeks ahead in the scripting. Uh, the nature of my comic is, is pretty linear. I try to put jokes in at least once a strip. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but writing ahead of time definitely helps me maintain the schedule. So when it comes time to doing comics, it's all mechanics stuff. It's all process stuff. It's not, I'm not trying to think of dialogue. Uh, I do spend a lot of time thinking of placement and angles and that kind of stuff, but uh, the writing I don't have to worry about. So um, if writing takes you longer than everything else, try to do that ahead of time. Um, now I'm done. <laughs> uh, so those are some thoughts on how to maintain a schedule. Uh, if you've got alternate suggestions or other suggestions or other things that help you maintain your schedule when you're comicking, um, please drop a comment, a video comment or YouTube comment or a comment on the post that this is going to be in or Tumblr or wherever. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'm going to drink now, some more water, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.